Hello. Um, in follow-up to my video about my freshman year experience at UCSB, I want to do a follow-up video uh, talking about my sophomore year at UCSB. And um, sophomore year for me was pretty much all organic chemistry. Um, because I was able to finish biology early on um, by taking biology in the summer, um, I was able to focus only on organic chemistry during my sophomore year. And so let me just get right into it. Um, organic chemistry at UCSB is a three-quarter series, 108, 109A, 109B, 109C. And for all the organic, organic chemistry courses, um, I think this is the course where it's just straight up. It's all about practice. Um, the amount that you put in is going to correlate to the amount, the, the grade that you get out. If you put in a lot of work into organic chemistry, you will get a good grade no matter what. Um, how I did it was I practiced every question in the book at least 10 to 15 times so I could do it by memory. And I have to say the textbook for that we use that in organic chemistry is a really nice textbook. Um, I didn't exactly even have to listen to the professor. I just read the textbook and I did the problems and the textbook is really, really good. Um, I highly recommend using this textbook and just reading through it even before you start taking organic chemistry, just reading through it and getting used to the the flavor and the, the, the language of organic chemistry. And also for this course, I would go to CLAS religiously every single week to get my questions answered or clarified. And CLAS is, if you watch my last video, it's the free tutoring surface on campus. Um, and yes, by doing all those things, um, you know, organic chemistry wasn't exactly a very hard course for me. And I know a lot of people say that, you know, you know, they, they think of organic chemistry and they think of it as, you know, something really hard. But honestly, organic chemistry is really only centered around some key concepts, you know, nucleophile attacks, electrophile. Um, and as long as you do a lot of problems, you get to see a lot of stuff. And once you see a lot of stuff, you know, what they test you on isn't, is, it is, it isn't anything new. It's actually, a lot of it's just a lot of repetition. But in order to really gain a sense of what in the world is going on, you have to do a lot of problems. If you skip out on doing the problems, and also if you skip out on really trying to understand what's going on, um, you're gonna find it hard. Um, another note that I'd like to put in is that organic chemistry dealt a lot with a lot of spatial visualization. And so if you're good at spatially thinking about what happens in molecules, you'll succeed in organic chemistry. And definitely also for organic chemistry, um, I recommend using Rate My Professor. Um, it just makes your life easier if you use Rate My Professor. Um, yes, and the other thing that I did in my sophomore year, technically it was not really my sophomore year, it was my sophomore year summer, because in my sophomore year summer, I took physics. Um, and I did this over the summer um, because I didn't really like physics and I didn't really want to take it in cohesion with organic chemistry. Um, so, I instead just spent my entire year focusing on organic chemistry, and then I spent the summer after organic chemistry focusing on physics. And again, physics for me was just a lot of practice. I re redid all the practice midterm problems, and I went to CLAS a lot, and I just did a lot of physics every single day. Um, and I kind of had to because it was a six-week section to go over pretty much two-thirds of the physics, because physics is, again, a three-quarter series. So 6A and 6B in 12, 12 weeks, you know, you have to do problems every single day. Um, and I have to say, um, from studying for the MCAT right now, um, really, really understand this physics. Um, it is, this stuff comes back to bite you later. So you really, really want to understand what the hell is going on. Um, doing book problems for this class really helped me, as well as doing all the homework that they assigned on this homework program called Zapling. Um, but yeah, honestly, it was pretty cool learning about all these things. Um, you don't really think about but there are so many physics phenomenons going on around you every single day. So I thought it was pretty cool learning about all these physical phenomenons. Um, and another thing that I didn't really think about, but honestly I should have thought about at that time was doing physics abroad, maybe in like Ireland or um, in the UK. Um, it's pretty cool. You get to phys finish physics in like 10 weeks or something. And apparently it's really easy. And I, I don't know, studying abroad, there's always scholarships um, to go study abroad. Um, it's something I definitely recommend doing. I never did it because I was too busy with pre-med and stuff. But if you want to get your physics done, literally not in like 12 weeks, not even in 20 weeks, because that's the amount. No, it, yes, no, it takes about 30 weeks to finish physics if you do it at UCSB, but it takes 10 weeks to do physics if you study abroad. So I think that's a pretty good um, way to 
way to go for physics. Um, and along with physics, you're gonna be taking physics labs. Um, and these labs were somewhat extraneous, I thought. The stuff, we did stuff like dropping a ball from a rooftop. Honestly, I didn't really get the point of it, but you have to take physics labs for to graduate the major and also for med school. Um, but it was pretty easy. I think 50% got A's and 50% got B's. So, I mean, the curve was pretty good and you know I didn't really think much about it. It was pretty easy. Um, oh, yes. I also forgot, um, I did not talk about OCHEM lab. Um, technically I didn't take this my sophomore year, um, but I took this the summer of my senior year. No, the spring and summer of my senior year. And you're gonna be wondering why did I take OCHEM lab so far away? First of all, I don't recommend doing that um, because you forget some stuff about OCHEM, organic chemistry, you gotta relearn it again. It's kind of annoying, um, but Problem is, is that uh, you probably won't be able to get OCHEM lab if you're a sophomore standing without honors. And I heard they're not even giving honors anymore. So now you probably won't even be able to get OCHEM lab um, unless you're a senior or you're in the chemistry major um, because OCHEM lab um, is restricted to chemistry majors the first time you choose classes. So all the chemistry majors need to take it. And then after that, um, the second time that you choose classes, it goes by your units. So if you're a senior, you get higher priority in choosing classes. So it ends up being that most people don't, don't even get to take um, organic chemistry lab until later. I chose to postpone it until senior year. And I'm just here to say that's okay, you know. Um, it, kind of, it kind of makes it a little bit hard, but eventually you relearn all the organic chemistry. And so, Organic chemistry lab here is a lot harder than the organic chemistry lecture. Um, 6AL, especially Chem 6AL, is the first part of the organic chemistry lab. Um, and it's a pretty hard class because the TAs grade harshly and the quizzes are pretty hard. Um, what I recommend for this course is do the book problems for NMR, IR, and mass spec in the organic chemistry textbook, and they help a lot to understand what's going on. And also do everything that the professor, which is usually Gaynor, that's the person who teaches the course, gives you. Do all the book problems, and for the lab reports, go to the TA's office hours to see what they expect, and really hammer them on exactly what to write, because they're gonna be the ones that are grading. But overall, for this course, I took it online, but I, there are pretty much quizzes every single week, and the quizzes are hard because it's written by the TA, um, and I don't know, they're just all really, really hard. It's a pretty hard course. Um, you just really have to, once you just really have to do the practice problems. And that's pretty much all you can really do for 6 Do the practice problems, go to your lab office, your lab TA office hours and just pray you get a really good score. Um, Chem 6BL is what I, is the next of the series and it's the last organic chemistry lab course that you'll take. And Chem 6BL is a lot harder than Chem 6AL. It's like Chem 6AL on steroids. There are two lab reports that are due every single week. And it's pretty much the same advice I gave for Chem 6AL. Just do a lot of book problems. Um, but it, there really isn't anything new in Chem 6BL. It's just the same organic chemistry lab technique applied to many different reactions. There's just a lot more work for Chem 6BL. Um, but nothing really new is introduced. Um, but yeah, two lab reports a week and a quiz every week pretty much um oh it was it was tough you also have to meet twice a week too for lab oh i'm really glad i took it online um but yeah anyways uh that was pretty much my uh my sophomore year experience at ucsb so uh if you like this video give it a like and have a nice day